Hello, I am Diane St. Germain and I am a watercolorist and teacher. And I hope you will take time to relax and enjoy watching me do a demo of this scene in North Carolina along a river in early fall. I will begin by making a grayscale of this photo to help me with my value study, which I will be doing in watercolor paint. Uh, the pigment I'll be using is Windsor Newton Payne's Gray, but you may also use neutral tint or you may use markers or pencil. For my value study, I will be using this pad of Kilimanjaro 140 pound cold press paper and the size is 12 by 9 which can also be used in vertical uh, format as 9 by 12 and Cheap Joe's is the only one I've been able to find this great pad uh, and, and also it's just wonderful and I have over three of them full of value studies. I have discovered if I squint my eyes I can best identify the values in the scene, whether I am painting from using a photograph or painting on location. This is key for simplifying my painting and making it much easier to paint a complicated scene like this one. Here is my value study that I use from one being the lightest to nine being the darkest. White is the white of the paper, which if I do want to keep that, I have to be really aware where it is because you can't bring back the white of the paper. And two to four being the light values, five to seven being the mid values, and eight and nine being my darker, darkest darks. So I'm ready now to begin my value study. And I used a number two lead pencil to draw my scene as simple as I can with no details. And having the photo in grays and squinting my eyes helps me to see the light, middle, and darks at this point. But what I want to focus on is, during this first stage of value study, is to only paint the mid-value uh, ranging from fives to sevens in one continuous shape. This uh, shape of uh, Payne's Gray paint is made with a good amount in this little palette so that I can be sure to have as, uh, enough to that I don't have to remix it. And I'm just working and moving this little bead and I'm going to speed up this process in, in the video so that we can, you can see how I move uh, this one valued shape all through the whole value study.
I'm going to wet both sides with a wet sponge, sea sponge, and then I use as a board underneath a gator board. And uh, so I'll proceed to wet both sides and then we will be putting on the light values like one, two, three, possibly four. Uh, and it'll be our underpainting. And you don't have to wet both sides of the paper. If you, some artists choose to tape the edges around, all around, uh, say one quarter inch in with a masking tape, and then they will spray or water, put water uh, down uh, on the surface, or even just go straight in direct painting. I just like this for the softness that it does for my underpainting and looking at my value study to start off with uh, and I will be using that not only the photograph but I'm using my value study to guide me and here I, I used I have a choice of brushes I like to use uh, a mop brush in the first light wash stage and uh, I will be giving all the names of the supplies later on in the video and here I am just putting my uh, colors together that I will pre-mix uh, on my palette, uh, starting with cerulean blue and um, some cobalt blue, and I'm looking at what's all in there. And right now, I really want to get that blue in, uh, and so that's where I start. And I'm going to fast forward through this part, and so sit back and enjoy. Enjoy. 